First open start and type WS Reset. Click on WS Reset. Wait for the Windows Store to be repaired. Close the store and restart. If that didn't work, first open start and then type PowerShell. Right click PowerShell and select Run as Administrator. Press Yes. Copy the text that you'll find in the description of this video. Right click the white frame. Select Edit and then Paste. Press Enter. Type, Exit and then press Enter. Now restart. If that didn't work, first open Start. Click on Settings. Click on Apps. Go to Apps and Features. Locate the Microsoft Store. Click on it and select Advanced Options. Locate Reset. Click on Reset. Press Reset again. Wait for the Windows Store to reset. Open the Windows Store. Now your problem should be fixed. If that didn't work, first open Start and type CMD. Right-click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Press Yes. Type, NetStop Wuow Serve and then press Enter. Type, netstop crypt svc and then press enter. Type, netstop bits and then press enter. Type, netstop msi server and then press enter. Type, ren c, slash windows slash software distribution software distribution dot old and then press enter.
type ren c slash windows slash system 32 slash catroot 2 catroot 2 dot old and then press enter Type net start wuow serve and then press enter. Type net start crypt svc and then press enter. Type net start bits and then press enter. Type net start msi server and then press enter. Type exit and then press enter. Now open start and type PowerShell. Right click PowerShell and select run as administrator. Press yes. Type wuauclt.x slash update now and then press enter. Type exit and then press enter. Now restart. A Windows update should be repaired. If that didn't work. First open start and type cmd. Right-click command prompt and select Run as Administrator. Press Yes. Type SC config wowser start equals auto and then press Enter. Type SC config bits start equals auto and then press enter. Type SC config crypt SVC start equals auto and then press enter. Type SC config trusted installer start equals auto and then press enter. Type exit and then press enter. Restart. If that didn't work. Open start and type recovery options. Open recovery options. Go to advanced startup and click on restart now. Click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Click on Startup Settings. Press Restart. Press your F4 key. Open a folder and go to C.
open the Windows folder. Open the Software Distribution folder. Delete all the contents inside this folder. Now restart. Now run Windows Update. If that didn't work, 